Raymond lost the mother of his child, Amber, to an alleged drug overdose. And when he heard the news about her death, he also found out that a guy he met just a week before, Jeffrey, was her secret lover and that he gave her the drugs that may have killed her. Amber was my girlfriend. We started dating about two weeks before she passed away. And I did know that she was uh, living with her baby daddy, Raymond. But she, uh, she told me they weren't together. We spent the whole last week of her life uh, at her family's house. And it was probably the most amazing week of my life. She pulled out a pack of what was supposed to be cocaine. She said that she had got it from her friend. So we hit it, she went back upstairs, and I went to my relative's house. She was given cocaine and it was mixed with fentanyl. She had Xanaxes in her system and it killed her. The next day on social media, he made the comments that I'm the one that killed her. I wasn't actually allowed to be at the funeral. I still showed up, um, I stayed my distance. One of her friends, Tabitha, approached my vehicle and made the comments that I killed her. I don't know why you're here. You're the one that did this. She even spit on my truck. I got introduced to Jeffrey as her brother. This was the day of my son's birthday. He came to my house and picked Amber up and drove to one of her relatives' house where we had the party. Were you still in love with Amber? I was planning on marrying Amber. I bought her a promise ring and everything. When, we, when I was getting my taxes back this year, we was planning on getting married and getting our own place. So in your mind, you're still in a committed relationship with her? Yes, sir. She's the type of girl that she really wouldn't date that type of guy. She was really just using him for something. And you believe that that'd be the case to be drugs? Yes. She was with me because you was treating her bad. Bro, That's why not, she was with me. I was not it treating wasn't over bad, the drugs. Bro. Like, there's stuff that you really leaving out about the whole situation. And you need, really need to just come clean about it. I've been answering the questions. From the get-go, I told you what happened. But your it's story, not my fault you don't want to believe it. But your story have changed so many times. No, sir. my story's been the same from the get-go. You drove her to a hospital that was 30 minutes, damn near 30 minutes away. And there was That's one right. down the street for like 10 minutes. First of all, how did you meet Amber? I've known her brother for some years. I seen her at a gas station. I hit her up on Facebook the next day, and we started talking. And I mean, we talked and every did day. Did you after know that she was involved with him? She told me that she was not with him. That she just lived with him. That they were separated. I wouldn't really call that a relationship, would you? I, I mean, hey, if if you're intimate with somebody, if you talk about being together forever, and you talk and about building being a together relationship after being together. together yeah, we did. We had After conversations a of, build, of building a relationship together and everything. Well, I understand you talk about, oh, maybe there's a possibility of us being together, but you were talking about being together forever after a week and a half. Hey, it happens. Well, drug, drugs are a bitch. Um, <laughs> what kind of drugs are we doing with her? Cocaine. Cocaine. Smoking weed. Smoking weed. Um, so the first time you do drugs with Amber, Who's supplying the drugs, you or her? Her. She had drugs? Yes. She has cocaine? Yes. Did you say, ooh, where'd you get that from? No, I don't ask questions about where she gets it from. That's her business. The last night that you saw her alive, you did it with her, right? Cocaine? Yes. She pass out before you left, or what happened there? No. Um, she called me about 10 o'clock on Thursday, and she wanted to have sex. We had sex. So about 2 o'clock in the morning, and before she left, she pulled out a pack of cocaine that she had got from her friend and asked if I wanted to hit it. We hit it. She went back upstairs, and I went to my relative's house. So you left? Yes. I hadn't heard from her, so I picked up the phone and I called her. Her friend answered the phone, and when she answered the phone, she said, she's breathing, but she's non-responsive. So her friend here. was concerned? Yes, that's why I rushed over Yeah, there. so you rushed over, and what happened? When I got to her, she was blue. I picked up the phone, I called the ambulance. The ambulance said 15, 20 minutes. I'm 10 minutes from the hospital, if that. Okay. I put her in my car and I took her to the hospital. And then the police come talk to you? The police immediately pulled me into a room. And what, and what happened with that? They questioned me for, 
a couple hours, uh, asked me a bunch of questions. As soon as the Metro detectives come in, they asked me a few questions and then they made the comments to me that she had passed away. So no, you never were arrested, nobody was arrested in this? No, I was, like I said, I was questioned for a couple hours right. and when they let me out the room, I, I went outside the hospital and I lost it. Tabitha uh, is, was Amber's friend? Yes, sir. She's here, let's bring Tabitha out. Here. What did you do to my friend? Why did you hurt friend. Amber? I didn't you do know it. you done it. I didn't do nothing. You was to the hurt. one who gave her the drugs. Why are you up here lying? That's why I'm here to take a test. You to gave prove her to the you drugs. and to him that she I'm not the one that gave it to you. She would never be with you. Well, she, she was with like me. Wasn't she... she was only with you for what you oh. was giving her. Well, she was she with me like apparently. You. You're... No, she wasn't. You're an idiot. She would have told me she would never be with you. You're disgusting. Yeah. You killed her. And if you didn't kill her, you at least had a hand in it because you admitted that she was doing drugs. You're fixing to find out that I didn't. But it sounds like Amber. Did drugs, right? Recreationally, every now and then. It's not like an everyday thing. Amber Cocaine is not, I, I mean, in my mind, is not a recreational drug. If somebody's doing drugs with her and she dies, are they responsible for the person's death? If they give if it they to gave her, her the drugs. I feel like if they give it to her, he gave it to her. He knew that she was doing it. And if he done the same drugs, why is he still alive? Well, uh, not everybody reacts to drugs the same way. We all yeah, know that. True. How old was Amber when she passed away? She was 21. 21. The choices people make as far as doing drugs and stuff come with severe consequences. One, she lost her life. Uh, never going to be able to raise her kids, uh, be there for you or for you. You both claim you were in love with her. You know, if you're doing drugs, you're playing with your life, right? I don't think Amber was doing anything that she thought this might kill me. But you all have to be aware that if you are doing this, you could die, right? Yeah. Okay. Jeffrey, you took a lie detector test? Yes. On November 28th, did you provide any drugs to Amber? No. You answered no. On November 30th, were you present when Amber died? No. You answered no. Did you kill Amber? No. You answered no. The results came back the same to each question, and they came back that Jeffrey told the truth. I told y'all! I told y'all! I told y'all, bro! I told y'all I didn't kill her! I love that girl, bro! I would have never hurt her! Okay, you might not have nothing to do with it, but don't talk about love, bro. We, you cannot love somebody in a week. I told her. I, I told y'all. I told y'all I didn't give it to her. I feel bad that she lost her life. She was 21 years old. She was young. She had a beautiful child. Shut up. But you know what hurts me? Don't speak on my As I didn't even get to say child. goodbye to her. Shut up. All because of y'all. You know her for 10 days. Who it cares? It doesn't matter. Who cares? The test is right there. I didn't but give her with her. You're an idiot. You're a junkie. And she wasn't doing the drugs, too? She's just so, as guilty of doing no, drugs, don't too. Don't speak on Amber. Don't speak on Amber. Fix yourself. Fix yourself. Your friend's 21 years old, she died, and we want to say, you're to blame. You're to blame. We want justice for our friend, Amber. Mm -hmm. But the truth of it is, Amber was an adult, and she made decisions that cost her her life. Nobody would want that. It's a tragic story, and I would hope that everybody watching this show that might be doing that, the, the thought process of this is recreational, don't kid yourself. You know, it's, it's, it's not a joke. You know, marijuana, I'm not, I'm not getting on that. that you know, it's going to be legal in the whole country soon enough. But when you start talking about cocaine, heroin, uh, meth, every time you do it, you, might, you could be pointing a loaded gun to your head. And that's the truth of it. And that's what happened here. I hope this gives you some peace, because there was obviously some questions. And I hope that you'll go on and You'll keep Amber's memory alive in the hearts of the people that knew her and loved her. And obviously, you have a, a child that you have to keep her memory alive in your, your child's life. Was he responsible for her death? No. And here's the deal. I, I'm not judging you. But do something with your life, OK? Do something, man. Do something positive, right? Contribute to society, OK?
Stop being a junkie.